Sarah Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. Okay, this is going to be a super fun day because what we're doing is we're going to try to find other keywords for our Etsy SEO. Now, yesterday, if you haven't watched the video yet, yesterday we did how to technically do Etsy SEO. But today, we're going to try to find keywords that are beyond the pale, that aren't just functionally what the thing is and the way I did this is I have our awesome Etsy and eBay artist and vintage wow long Facebook name but we had a listing challenge last month and a bunch of the girls uh, let me know some of their listings so we're gonna go through them and try to see if we can come up with some other listings and then I'm also gonna come in here to um, marmalade which is how i do keyword research and in case we need to look some stuff up okay so first one this is ellen carroll wall art and this is a large poster with same okay i moo you print with cow print okay so we already know that print with cow print of original acrylic painting of cow um she doesn't have to have print so much. She doesn't have to have cow so much. See if we can see her. We can't see her tags. Um, so she may have a bunch of different tags. I'm not judging anybody here, okay? Um, but if it was me, I would have I love you. Um, I would have farmer. I would have ranch. I would have gift for. I would have country i would have animal uh barn all kinds of things that go with cows that people who like cows would want nature um you could even get a little bit a little bit um you know uh animal rights something like that uh vegetarians right so i moo you a vegetarian would say i moo you because she didn't want to eat cows i'm a pescatarian i only eat fish so i would maybe have a cow picture so that's something to think about with the cows second one this is studio evanave e-v-e-a-n-n-a-v-e I see a strong woman pin badge. Ooh, I love that. Okay. Um, wooden brooch. Okay. I don't think it's wooden. Oh, silver and wood. Oh, it must be inset wood. Oh, how fun. Okay. Motivational. Love that. Feminist gift. Crystal ball. Wood art. Mother's Day purple illustration jewelry. Jewelry spelled wrong, I believe. Let's check that. Yeah, jewelry only has one L. Okay, anyways, love this. This is um, women's rights would be another one that she could use, women's rights. Um, let's, let's put this in feminism in here, right? So we have feminism, feminist. So we could add feminism. Gift for girls, gift for teen girls, right? That's something that could be very good to use, especially with, um, we're in, you know, coming up on the holiday season. I personally feel like we're always coming up on the holiday season, but birthday gift for girls, Christmas gift for girls. Um, let's see, empowered. Girl power. Oh, girl power. Okay, perfect. Feminist pin is what I would put. Women's rights. Inspirational, equality. So there's a ton that you could do with this that revolve around, you know, who the gift would be for. Um, you know, just, just really cool. I don't think somebody who is looking for a... Um, a uh, crystal ball would be looking for this. That would be more mystical, things like that. I would focus on the feminist for this one. Next one, dot art peacock mandala. 
Okay, we could use a lot of help. This is Vulcan Works Design. So she needs to do, or he needs to do, the um, actual SEO, right? So wall art, wall hang, uh, home decor hanging, uh, blue, teal, gold, mandala, if there's another word for mandala. And then we could do abstract, we could do um, colorful, it looks a little celestial, it could be a peacock, right? Um, somebody that likes peacocks could do that. Beautiful hand-paid dot mandela, oh, peacock feather. Okay, so stuff in your description doesn't help your, uh, doesn't help your SEO. You have to have it in your title and you have to have it in your tags. I thought it looked like a peacock too. So if you do peacock, then you could do birds, you could do feathers, you could do all kinds of things. This one's a little hard because they don't have anything to start with, right? So you got to make sure you get your regular SEO solid first. This is a glass woman. Shy girl, satin glass woman figurine, bohemian art glass. So we have glass a lot in here. We only need glass once. Um, bohemian, I could see that. Shy girl. Um... Let's see if you're, so this is a gift for a woman, gift for mom, maybe gift for graduation. It's not a baby gift because there's no baby, right? That's cool. So this is where I need help, right? <laughs> Glass woman statue. Let's see if we get anything else. Now, this may be a collectible piece, too. So you would want to have collectible. You would want to have who made it. Okay, let's see if we can see who made it. Uh, I would put some of these numbers, like 90090. I believe that this might be a, um, it could be a price. I don't know. Glass woman statue. Let's see if we can get any other new ideas. Ah, uh, it could be vintage, figurine, nude, sculpture. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of different synonyms of statue. So if you do not have marmalade, you can do synonyms. I don't know how to spell synonyms. There we go. So you could do go to thesaurus.com and do statue, right? And it's going to give you all the synonyms for statue. Uh, sculpture, oh, it doesn't give you great ones, huh? That's not great. Okay, sorry, tried. Um, this one's tough. You know, it's a vintage piece, so this could just be a collector that needs to, um, the right person needs to find this one. Okay, infertility, acupuncture, also treat your PMS. So, this is cool. Uh, it's an instant download. Youthful skin, body, mind. So infertility, acupuncture. You got to have pregnancy. Um, how to tutorial so that it jumps out and you know that this is something you can do. Because when I see infertility acupressure, I think, oh, is this something somebody has to do for me? Um, I see she has this in the materials, but I would get some of this up into the title. Let's see what happens when we do pregnancy in Marmalade. So you want pregnancy, pregnant, uh, infertility. Well, let's do our thesaurus. I know how to spell thesaurus. <laughs> I was getting all cocky. I do not know how to spell thesaurus. Let's see. Pregnancy. Uh, childbearing. Baby. Baby. Right? How to have a baby. How to get pregnant. Conceive. So you want to find 
These are all if you've gotten pregnant. That must be so. Let's try infertility. Infertility. You know, when you're going to school and they say you should learn to spell and you think, what am I going to use that for? Oh, and typing. I cheated at typing for years. And now I type all day long and I don't know how to, I don't type correctly and I have to look. All right, infertility. Let's see what this says. Uh, IVF, right? So it could be an IVF replacement, I, IVF alternative. Uh, I don't know what TTC is. Infertility gift. Pregnancy baby, rainbow baby. Trying to conceive, trying to conceive, trying to get pregnant. I think that would be a good one. Um... Yeah, I think there's a lot of things uh, that stuff Dr. Martha could do with that. More so than just infertility acupuncture. Oh, PMS. PMS, curse. Uh, period relief, right? Um, Non-pill period relief. Things like that. So there's a lot of work that she could do with that one. All right, we got... Admirable jewels, moss, cake, kyanite necklace. Okay, now we got kyanite again, kyanite again. So she's using up a lot of her letters with um, that word. Handmade jewelry, I don't hate that. Pendant necklace, necklaces, so that's the plural. There's necklace again, dainty, delicate. Okay, I don't know what color this is. It looks like it may be green, it may be teal. So I would get a blue slate, you know, I would get a color, it looks like very pretty against gray. I would get that in there. Okay, night. it is a um, maybe blue, right? Uh, gift four. So let's look up kynite birthstone birthstone. See if it's anybody's birthstone. Uh, da, 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 da. February and March, right? So you would have March birthstone, February, gift for February, something like that. So those are always really good for those specific stones because people will do searches, gift for February, gift for March, gift for woman, uh, sister, daughter, all those. I'm trying to think if there's any other good, like at, during times of year, graduation gift, birthday gift, Christmas gift. It's never present. I always thought it was presents because we gave presents, but it's gift. Okay. This is weird. So it is a mermaid cat. I love mermaid cats. This is one of my favorite art, artists, Gianna Paragamo. Um, orange cat. Nah, tab, that's a tabby cat. So you need to get Tabby Cat in there, Kitten, Gift for Cat Lover. Okay, let's think about who uses magnets too. Teachers use magnets. Uh, office workers use magnets. Let's see. Magnet. Magnet Cat. Who uses magnets? Cats magnets. Uh, you could put refrigerator magnet, right? Dishwasher magnet. Gift for cat lovers. Ooh, how about rescue? How about, you know, for rescue organizations, something like that? Anthropomorphic is when cat when people are looking like other animals. Um, you should have mercat m e r c a t mercat to think mercat. No, maybe it's a meerkat. Ah, uh, not mercat. It they're gonna get you. Oh. Mercat. I think it's Mercat. What is Mercat? Oh, nope. It's not a Mercat. 
All right, so that's why you always want to kind of check and see if a word that you think is right is right. Next, this is Suzy QZ. Oh, that's cute. S U Z Y Q Z Z. That's very sweet. Okay, handmade book plate, junk journal, ephemera, travel journal, vintage. That is adorable. It is also teal, burgundy. Uh, it's got music paper. It's got fabric. It's got lace. So you want to have all those things. What we're trying to do here is to think of things that people might be sewn, hand sewn, you know, whatever kind of machine sewn. It could also be for um, altered books. It could be for card making. It could be for all different kinds of things. I could do, I could, uh, a tag, right? She doesn't even have tag in here. Um, tag, just because you envisioned it as a book plate, it could be a tuck spot, it could be a corner, it could be, um, yeah, it's really, oh, it has a key, you don't even say it has a key. Okay, anyways, that's adorable. So research some more about ephemera, junk journal, see, and, okay, so when I say research some more, I'm going to say junk. Journal ephemera. Ephemera. Okay. Nope. I'm ephemera. Okay. Here we go. Uh, sewn. See? Sewing. Sewing. Uh, I don't want pack. So I want, let's say text. Rectangular, right? We could talk about the shape. We could talk about the fact that it is key. It has a dangle. It is Victorian. It is, so you want to just sit there and think of every word that you could think of to describe this thing. This is adorable book decor with fall Thanksgiving design. So you don't need width and design. Handcrafted, handcrafted, yeah. vintage, get rid of widths. Widths are not actual words. In search. Okay, vintage modern farmhouse, shabby chic, housewarming gift, autumn decor. You need, okay, farmhouse is such a good word. That is exactly what it is. Farmhouse. You need white for sure, right? So we know that white. Country. You know, it is country looking. Country is a decor style. Gift for book lover, gift for kitchen. New bride, right? So if she's a new bride, she might want this. These are adorable. So this one, Wander Gone Camping Adventures, that would be for travel, traveler, um, home, living life, baking, gift for chef. Gift for cook, gift for mom, shabby chic, neutral colors. That's a good one. I think this is yours. Um, neutral. Yeah, this is gonna be a. This is gonna be really good. I like that. Okay, now we got crafty devotion. I love these things. I buy them all the time. Beaded embroidery. Look at this colors. Yay me. Uh, bridal lace, excellent fabric, applique, she is doing a good job. We got applique twice, but I, I, it's not making me mad. Med wedding lace, craft supplies, sewing shabby. Okay. I use these in my junk journals. I use them for ephemera. I use them for, uh, for all of that, if you could get those girls to start buying your stuff, man, you could go nuts. Um, now, this does scare me because this looks like exactly the same thing. Maybe she did one with lavender as the first one, whatever. Okay, so we need, uh, let's see, what happened with farmhouse? Let's see if we find any other words. Antique vintage. Farmhouse is such a style. 
Yeah, see, that didn't help. We would have to do like fixer up work. That is the name of a show by a gal who does farmhouse style on HGTV. Luckily, I can multitask. Pretty feminine. These are pretty. These are feminine. These are okay. So, so it does have. Do we have bride? Bridal. Bride, bridal, wedding party, bridesmaid. You know, go into those. Ooh, mother-in-law. So the mother-in-law dresses, things like that. Formal, formal wear. So there's a lot of words that you could use. Okay, what's this? Oh, it's the lady with the cows. Okay, so this one, this to me looks like, I love cowboy, but this looks like friends, gift for friends, horses, ranch, uh, pony, pony, good job. Um, you want to start thinking about who the, who, who is going to buy like urban cowboy, right? So this is also very modern. This is very, um, I'm so going to show my age. Very hip, very chick. I don't think those are the right words. You would want to find the, the current words for, I don't sell anything hip and chick. I sell vintage, right? Um, oh, that's fun. A uh, gift for horseback rider, horse rider, um, jockey, things like that. So you want to start thinking about those. Those are very cool. Okay, antique wood tray. Oh, that's cool and very creepy. Okay, antique wood tray, iridescent. I don't know that anybody is searching for iridescent. I would do purple. I would do blue. I would do orange. I would do black. Bedroom, bedside, breakfast, dresser table is a really good one. Um, unique, rare. That is crazy. Oh, that is really cool. Okay. Yeah, you want unique, rare, vintage outsider um so for outsider art inlaid um eclectic unique that's really that's really cool okay shallow water designs here we go not a lot to go on so we got kraken eagle dragon key fobs factually correct you get either one you get one or the other Okay, so Eagle is, I love Eagle, patriotic, American, uh, American Eagle, gift for dad, gift for grandpa, gift for uncle. Uh, these aren't the same person who would buy these. This would be very hard. I would do the Kraken and the Dragon together. I would not do the um, American Eagle with this. Because this is going to be conservative. You could do Republican. You could do um, all kinds of things like that re related to the United States. These are mystical. These are um, mystic. Dragon. Uh, I, in my tags, I might put Game of Thrones. I would not put it in my title. But, um, yeah, dragons are cool. Krakens are cool. So I would rethink this listing and I would have um, either one for a listing for each one and then break it out or I would do um, these two together and then get that eagle with something like an American flag or um, USA or something like that because that's going to be there. But you could do nature, you could do natural, you could do all kinds of stuff. If you go down that rabbit hole, there's a bajillion... Um, keywords for American eagles. And there's also a lot of, you know, octopus, sea monster. I love dragons, so. All right. Oops, she sold it. Yay. So let's go do another one of hers. Sold. Oh, I love those spice jars. Lusterware spice jars. This is the kind of thing that you um that are very very cool so i would have ginger pepper allspice cloves right 
I would have unique, I would have house, right? So they look like little houses. I would have, those are very cool. Does she have kitchen? Kitchen, good job. Kitchen, so you have canisters, you have jars, you have uh, glassware, you have, this is unique. You, oh gosh, then you have set, lot, all of those that are, um, to let them know that they're getting four of those, set of four, lot, four canisters. Um, you could do matched, you could do all those things. People are looking for those kind of things you wanna show up first. We got one more. Oh, that was it. She must have sold all. Of, nope, we got one more. Genuine aquamarine necklace. Marge Burstone, so proud of you. Handmade jewelry. Necklaces for women. Moss aquamarine. So, oh, too many aquamarines. You're taking up all your space. So you have pennant necklace. Let's see on our, um, let's see if necklace has. Ooh. Necklace. I'm going to do it over here to fix her up. Or what happened down here? Farmhouse style. Style. Home decor. Style. Rustic. Rustic. Primitive. Okay, these are all things that once you get used to doing this, you don't have to look them up every time. But that for sure is what we should be looking at. So you have choker, jewelry pendant, strand beads, string. Okay. I want to know, is this a long or a short? 14. She doesn't have 14 karat gold in the top. Some people are looking at that. She doesn't have sterling silver in the top. Get rid of some of those aquamarines. Get that in there. I would have long, I would have choker, because she's offering, right, the size from 14 inches to 18 inches. I might actually do several listings with this because this is a very um, popular kind of stone here. So you could do blue, you could do teal, you could do aquamarine, you could do turquoise, you could do March birth stone, you could do... Um, Bridesmaid's gift. You could do gift for sister, mother, daughter, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, that's very cool. You could also figure, I think it's, uh, oh, what is the, you could figure out what gift for, um, not Pisces, not Scorpio, because Scorpio is October. I'm trying to think what it is. It's not Leo. I can think of a billion Aquarius gift for Aquarius, things like that. So that's what you want to try to do. So hopefully this thinking a little sideways, trying to figure out other things that it could be, other audiences you could get to, will help you. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.